Ladies, homos, chomos, welcome back to College Kings here with 3K Thang, a recurring guest on the show. So last episode, we had a massive orgy with six different black guys, and now we are at a house party. 3K, anything to add? We rewatched the clip for the actual sex scenes in the orgy. It's great acting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the animations in this shit are gold. Anyway, also, yo, fuck you, YouTube, because you guys fucking age-restricted my last video. Now I think about it. Yo, yo suck my fuck? dick, fucking pussy. Anyway. Yo, yeah, facts, bro. Smoking on Susan. Go get back. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to these kids here. Okay, I could go for another right now. Oh, another what? I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind another. <laughs> well, hello there, Kimberly. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, damn, you guys are pretty high, huh? Oh, there's stone. Never mind. I mean, I guess we could go for that. Maybe. Want to hit? Yeah. What? Nah, I'm good. Then at least have a shot with us. Uh, yeah, we'll take one. The crossfader? I guess so. Fuck it, why not? Yeah. Atta boy. Yes, G. So what are you guys doing here? Checking out the wolves. Just want to see what all the fuzz is about, you know? Maybe join if they're cool. Right. I'm only here because Amber convinced me. Oh, Amber's a baddie. Like, Amber's here too. How'd she convince you? Yeah. I mean, I still pipe, though. She said there'd be a lot of hot guys here, but right now all I see is you. Bitch. What do you mean by that? Deep breath. Okay, Alex. I felt a little unnecessary, not gonna lie. Oh, don't get offended, bro. You know she means well. How could that possibly be meant well? I mean, where you guys know where Amber is, aka your hotter friend, bitch, off somewhere inside. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you, little fucking pink-haired cunt. All right, I'll probably go inside too. See you guys later. Bye, G. Yeah, if that fuck chick that, is real, bitch. I'd so fuck. Like that's my ideal Asian. Dude, she like, legit oh just God. fucking shooting on us though. Uh, oh, here's Chris. This is the dude we gotta we gotta link up with to fuck up the ops. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, it was crazy, really crazy. Chris? Looks like you got a fan waiting for you. I'll catch up with you later. Man, who the fuck are you, you bald right. bitch? Suck my dick, Marcus. Call it's me a fan, bro. Little bitch. Hey, man, what's up? I don't know if you remember, but you told me to come see you at this party, you know, after I fought with Adam. Yeah, I fucked that dude up. Of course I remember. I'm glad you can make it. I really think you'd make a great wolf. Yeah, that's a fact. I would, bro. I would. Beating up Adam like that, it's mod. Yo, it's <laughs> mod, bro. Um, uh, yeah, but it was really a one-time thing. I don't really know much about fighting. Dude, what do you? What is my guy talking about? He's two and always undefeated right now, and he only got sucker punched by Grayson. I don't even count that as a fight. That just proves even more how much talent you have. Yo, Chris is speaking facts right now. Look, I'm sure you got the same speech by Grayson. Truth is, we're both looking for freshmen that show potential. <laughs> that sounds kind of like uh, creepy, bro. If you don't know the context, just imagine like that. Like you start <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I get that. And if I was in your shoes, I'd think to myself that both the wolves... The wolves, sorry. And the apes seem to have a lot of similarities. I guess so. The one key difference is loyalty. The apes will do anything to win, even if that means stepping on each other. See... Me and 3K thing, we can't switch them on each other, bro. That's why we can't be no apes, bro. We're gorilla killers, bro. They don't have any <laughs> honor. They don't have a code. And the wolves' loyalty and the brotherhood always comes first. Yeah, just like me and 3K thing. It's up to you which one you'd rather be a part of. Loyalty and brotherhood definitely sounds better to me. Yeah, it is pretty fex. You see that guy right there? Yeah. That's Finn. He used to be super shy, wouldn't talk to anyone. Hell, he never even had a girlfriend. Look at him now. He chats up girls with ease, knowing your brothers have your back no matter what really does wonders to your confidence. So he does the R word. Wait. You're telling me this guy just needed, like, validation from other dudes to start talking to bitches, though, man? I don't know, bro. Kind of gay. Sounds a little fruity <laughs> on my side. Uh, anyway, you see that guy there? That's Peter. He's fucking hideous, dog. Oh my lord, bro. What the fuck happened to your hairline, dude? Uh, anyway, Peter was a whole 300 pounds when he joined. He's 180 now and one of the best fighters we got. Damn, 300 pounds, bro. 
There's a whole lot of us. Harry, he got jumped, was traumatized from it. We got his back. Sebastian, Aaron, Marcus, the list goes on. Damn, these sound like a lot of white-ass names, I ain't gonna lie. My point is that every single one of these guys has a much better life since joining the Wolves. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, it does seem like it. I've got something else I want to show you once you've met everyone. So have a look around and come talk to me once you're ready. Alright, broski. Okay, we will do. Let's talk to this dude, Finn. Yeah, I agree. It seems like a recurring issue. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Chad. How's your night? Why do I keep thinking about that? That dude fucking got her top split. Anyway, Chad? Oh, yeah, sorry. My night was good. What about yours? It's great so far. This is my new friend, Finn. Finn, this is Chad. Hey. So, how do you like the party? It's cool. I mean, it's no poetry slam. True. Man, that poetry slam was fucking lame, bro. Have you ever been to a poetry slam? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I think you'd really enjoy it. Chad also wasn't sure about it beforehand. Oh my god, why is she making me seem like a fucking loser, bro? I mean, you did force me to go up on stage and perform myself. And tell me that wasn't exciting. It certainly was something new. Dude, my guy's a fucking cuck for that, bro. Let's talk to Riley. So what are you doing here tonight? Didn't you think... Didn't think you'd want to fight with the boys? Not quite, but I love a good party and there's so many cool people you can meet here. Have you met... Have you meet Aaron? Yo, Mr. Writer Guy. Have you meet Aaron? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you gotta fix that little typo. He was so friendly, he even offered to walk me home at night. Yeah, I feel like he might have ulterior motives. Not everyone's a walking sex robot, you know. No, he definitely is. Alright guys, I'll just walk home all by myself and get kidnapped then. I'll walk you home. Hey, oh, so you're saying oh, you don't have shit. ulterior motives? Hey, I don't know what you'd think of that. Right, my bad. You want to sit down and have a beer with us? Maybe later, I got some exploring to do. That's a fact, bro. Wait, what's with the cages? That's just their door. I don't think it's a cage. See? Alright, let's uh, go here. Let's... let's talk to the bitches! <laughs> Aubrey, we banged her twice already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, looking good, girls. <laughs> you too. Okay. Wait, Emily's a fucking slut, though. I forgot about it. Emily's a bitch that cheated on us, bro. Emily cheated on us. I should beat her up in the party, bro. Free some fucking fuck Aubrey the most. And I just had her laying there like, okay, when am I next? Emily was just telling me stories about you two from high school? Oh, man. Oh, God, which ones? The ones you asked her to senior prom? Oh, no. A whole banner in the entrance of the school. What a grand guest. Man, my guy was such a simp. There's nothing really... When I saw it, I just started crying. It was the most amazing things anyone's ever done for me. Yeah, you cheated on me. So go fuck yourself, bitch. Anyway. I mean, it's definitely a lot. Ha ha. Yeah, Aubrey, see, you could tell she, uh... She don't need all that extra shit. Uh, 3K. What should I say, bro? I was in love or it was not? I feel like I should downplay it. Say it was nothing, bro. 3K Lation, yeah. bro. Yeah, 3K Lation. That shit wasn't nothing special. Really, it was nothing. That was so long ago. <laughs> Was still really sweet. Oh, this bitch is still. Yo, Fuck why you. are you still on my meat, bro? Like, holy shit. Does she know you fucked Aubrey? I don't know. Wait, didn't I fuck Emily already, too? Or did I just get hit from her? So. Yeah, I think we did. I think we fucked both of them. Yeah, so both these people are turnt. Except Aubrey's less turnt because she a baddie. Okay, so you're here to check out the wolves or the ladies tonight? <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. You already know I'm the Mac like that, bro. <laughs> Wow, she said wow. Yeah, what the fuck? Suck my dick. I'm kidding. Just trying to see what's up. Bro, fuck you, bitch. I am not kidding. I'm gonna fuck everybody in the room. Except the dudes. Why she Maybe a little so dudes. Pressed. She just wants our dick all for herself. Like, as if we didn't pipe Audrey already, bro. Aud Aubrey. Fuck. Not Audrey. Um. Uh, I'm sure we'll get to catch up some more later. I'd oh. hope so. Yeah, I'd hope oh. so. Let's talk to these two losers. Courtney is way more beautiful than Kylie. How could you say that? Kylie is definitely the hottest of them all. Yo, that's kind of right, though. You're scary. crazy. Uh. Ask this guy. He'll know. What? Who's hotter, Courtney or Kylie? Kylie. I'd say Kylie. What do you think, 3K thing? Was she the what? one that, that was with Scott? You mean Travis Scott? No, she was with uh, Scott the white dude. 
You mean they're brothers? Wait, isn't Scott their brother? No, no, Scott the dude who's like a car enthusiast now. Hey Siri. Courtney Kardashian. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually debating this. <laughs> who's Courtney Kardashian? Dude, Kylie is a baddie, bro. Oh, Courtney, Courtney, dude, she's so hotter. She's like a dead ass. Dude, search up dude. Kylie then. Kylie? She's a the lip bitch. Yeah. Dude, you yeah, telling no. me? No, nah, I would go for Kylie. Courtney is so natural and like she's so bad, bro. I'm a fuck. Like, if she came Dude, to my none of them, said, none of them bitches are natural. They're all plastic hoes. She came to my fucking apartment and said, "I want you to move here, and you're gonna have to stop talking <laughs> to Flacco. I would low key move there, keep in touch with you, stack on my bread, give you half, and then just keep marrying Courtney like that." <laughs> all right, you know, just because he said that, I'll pick Courtney. Uh, definitely Courtney. C told you. Oh, Damn you made right. me agree with the uglier dude. Fuck. This dude's gay <laughs> looking. Yeah, his name's Harry, bro. He's got the reverse Hitler stash. <laughs> Yo, watch. Turns out, like, one of my only subscribers' name is, like, Harry, and he got offended by me, and he unsubscribes. That'd be so funny, uh, bro. Sorry, Harry, Courtney's no. a natural one. I prefer natural all day. Mm -hmm. My point exactly. Told Man, you. who cares about natural beauty when that body is banging and don't matter in bed? He kind of right, though. Uh, I feel like natural also looks better naked. Yeah, but just accept that Courtney's hotter. Keep on with the Kardashians, season two, episode three. Tell me Courtney no. looks anywhere as near as hot as Kylie there. Yeah, he does sound kind of gay. Cause what yeah. kind of dude watches Keeping Up with the Kardashians? He knew like, every episode. Yeah, bro. He knew the exact episode, and and he he knew the scene too. When there, he said they're in the right. kitchen, right? Anyways, I'm gonna yeah. leave you guys to it. Okay, so let's go this way. Who's in here? Oh no, it's the What's this way? No. Fuck. Oh, what's up the stairs? Yeah, let's look. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, there's Amber. Oh. Hello, I see you enjoying the view. Muscular guys working out without shirts is not the worst thing to look at. I guess it's not. So you're oh, going to be one of them soon? Ah, damn, yo. Amber's wavy, bro. She knows how to say what she wants. Yeah, maybe. I definitely wouldn't mind watching you work out without a shirt. Damn, bro. If only girls were this forward in real life, bro. Such a tease. Yeah, yeah I'm saying it's a tease. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really, I think I'm pretty blunt. So, um, why are you not out there with Josh and Kim? Eh, they're just sitting outside smoking. It's annoying because Josh is trying so hard to get in her pants. Really? I didn't even notice. Yeah, he's always trying to get her attention. He just follows her everywhere. But to be honest, it might pay off at some point. Kim broke up with her boyfriend like four months ago and still hasn't fucked anyone since. At some point, she's bound to get horny, and then I guess it's about who's f there first. Haha. -ha. Damn, she's saying this about her girl, though. That's fucked. Huh, I guess it's not going to be you, considering you're sitting here. As much as I love Kim, I'd rather be doing something more interesting. AKA you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Like what? Like watching a couple shirtless guys work out? All right, I'll leave you to it then. See you later. Bye bye. You know, Alright, let's talk to the shirtless dude. No, not yet. You can't move your leg like that. You always need to keep your core stable. Oh, yeah, I always just want to step forwards. You really gotta put some power behind it. Hey, guys. What's up? You wanna learn some moves too? Haha, <laughs> maybe later just checking out the garage. You got a real nice gym in here. Yeah, it's dope, and there's always some train. There's always someone training in here. It's so motivating. This dude looks like. Yeah, you see his face? Kind of bad like, he looks like a Terminator or something, bro. <laughs> I'd imagine. This is a robot. Uh, I'm Sebastian, by the way. Second year wolf. Oh, so he's a sophomore. Uh, I'm Chad. Nice to meet you. Are you a wolf, too? No, not yet, but I'm definitely looking to play. He's working on his technique instead of partying. I can already tell he's going to be a good fit. It's, if, it is impressive. Maybe I'll join you guys later. Sounds good, man. Just let me know. Cool, we'll do. All right. Dose for uh, dime, yeah. What's in here? Oh no, it's no. Fuck! How do I? This place is fucking huge. Yeah, dude, they're hmm, it's locked. Oh, that's okay. So then we gotta go upstairs, right? That's. Wait, did you check the the door in front of you? Uh, what the I think fuck? So. Crying noises. Yeah. No, no. Hello, oh. are you okay? Chloe. Oh. Chloe, it's me, Chad. Sniv, leave me alone. Now you're crying. I'm just gonna walk away. What's happening? I said, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Chloe, just let me in. You can talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Come on, Chloe. You can trust me. Because you don't trust me, damn. We shouldn't have spied on her at 3K. 
No, that's a basic. Yo, that wasn't my fault, bro. <laughs> Dude, we fumbled Everyone, so yo, bad. Chat knows that was your fucking fault. <laughs> Fuck you, pussy. It's on recording, bro. Bro, Fuck. you didn't step in that fucking leaf. Dude, man, yo, we fumbled so hard. She's probably never gonna fuck us now. Is that why Chloe, she's crying? stop. Just let me help. I don't know why she's crying. Your, your reputation popular. It's changed the outcome of a decision someone's making. Okay. Oh, is she? <gasps> yo, she's unlocking. Yo. If she's crying, you have to uh, Yo, crying. a shoulder to cry on is a dick to ride on. Am I right, <laughs> sister? Shout out JJ Vance, man. I miss Flexi. <laughs> anyway, hey. So, what happened? Nothing. It's stupid. Come on, please talk to me. I hate seeing it like this. <laughs> it's just, it's just. All the chicks met today to discuss some stuff like new recruits and budget, etc. Then all of a sudden, Nora stands up and says that I'm not doing my job well and she wants me to step down as president. I mean, I knew Nora didn't like me, but she could have just told me in private, you know? Damn, Nora sounds like a real bitch. I ain't gonna lie. But, Nora's hot. Uh, oh god, I'm trying so hard to make everyone happy, and people just keep attacking me. First Grayson, now Nora. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, know I gotta kind of, like, like simp on her, though, and, and talk shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nora's, Nora's being, being stupid. stupid. Nora's being stupid. You're a great president. You're smart. You're driven. You care so much. Like, yeah, we lying so hard. She's, She's probably just jealous. <laughs> You, you think, think so? so? Oh, I, I know so, and just because one girl doesn't like you doesn't, doesn't mean you have to give it all up for her. I mean, what, what does she know? What about, what about the other girls? What if she starts getting in to agree with her? They, they won't agree with her, Chloe. You're an amazing, amazing person, person, a leader, and all the girls can see that. that. God, I sound so corny. Thank, Thank you, I needed to hear that. Oh! What was that for? Just a little token of my gratitude? Oh, word. So what other things? I'm going to clean up before I go back out. Of course, of course, I'll give you some space. space. Let, Let me know if you need some more words for encouragement, encouragement later. Thank you. Of course. course. Oh, it's over here. This, this must be Chris's, Chris's office. It's filled with all these historic wolves and relics. Can we? Oh, no. We can only look at... What is that? I doubt any of these guys read. Encyclopedias. Oh, damn. They got all the uh, showdowns. Amir said that they only won five out of the last ten, so this competition must have been going on for over ten years. That's crazy. Which that means they're tied though. If it's five five, they have seven out of ten. Oh, uh, what's the window? Oh, uh, yo, Nora. Yo, who do you think's better though, Nora or Chloe? Oh shit, Nora, dude. Dude, like, but the thing, yeah, dude, she's like cute, bro. But she's like more, I'd say she's more real than Chloe. Chloe's kind of fake, bro. She seems, at least she seems like it, but uh, she got beautiful hagging, like beautiful sagging tits. Like that's it. I mean, she's kind of leaning over though. So, but anyway, uh, shit, what was I gonna say? Nora is Chris's girl, bro. Don't matter. I don't know, man. We were just talking about loyalty. <laughs> Oh, man. I sit down. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Oh, she smokes smoke cigarettes. Yeah, yeah people, people just start to annoy me after a while. while. Yeah, yeah, I get that. that. Parties can can, can feel like a bit much sometimes. sometimes. Exactly. So, um, where's, where's Chris? Chris? Downstairs, Downstairs talking to every person at this party, I presume. You don't sound too happy about that. that. No, no, it's fine. It's just... Chris is always right in the middle of these parties. He has to talk to everyone, he has to find new recruits, etc. So sometimes it can be a bit much. So it's like he's not giving enough attention. No, it's not that. I just want him to take a break once in a while and, you know, hang out. Oh, I just want him to take a break once in a while and, you know, hang out with my boyfriend. Oh, okay, yeah. But it's hard because he's the Wolves president and he's so dedicated and he cares so much. And I love that about him. But when you do as much for your frat as he does, there's very little time left for other things. Yeah, he's super passionate from what I've seen. I can see how that can make things hard. And I don't want him to be less passionate or anything. I just need a little bit of a break once in a while. That's why I come up here. It's nice up here. Yeah, it is. So, um, anything else been on your mind? What are you, my therapist? Nah, I don't think you could afford my hourly rate, but I'm here if you want to talk. I don't think you'd want to hear me rant about your crush. Damn, she on my ass, my crush. Chloe. Right. You can tell me. I'm not going to tell her. I'm not worried about you telling her. I just don't want to deal with a white knight. A white knight? Someone who's just going to defend her every action because she's pretty. I'm not a white knight. Don't worry. So you're going to tell me what happened or not? I told Chloe that I don't think she's a good president for the chicks and she started some drama. What'd she do for you to think she's not a good president? 
it's, it's not, not one particular thing. She's just manipulative. She, she plays cute and innocent, innocent, but she knows exactly what she's doing. doing. Yeah, see, bro, that's what I'm saying. Chloe's low-key fake, bro. And she's using the chicks to play her childish games with other people's feelings. It's not okay. Uh, we're not going to defend Chloe, because, yeah. Yeah, it sounds, sounds kind of messed up. up. I don't really know her like that. Well, well you're going to find out soon if you're trying to become her next boy toy. toy. It's, it's just when I'm around her, you know? She's, she's different, she's honest and funny, and just amazing. amazing. Yep, yeah, that's, that's how she gets you. you. But, but hey, smarter guys than you have fallen for her. Are you trying to say I'm stupid? I'm trying to say you're not the only one. You can keep chasing her if you want, but... You know, just know that she's not always as honest and funny and as amazing as she may seem. Thanks, Nora, for looking out for me. I'm gonna let you finish your cigarette in peace. Okay. Chad? Yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah, we kind of got to end now with Nora, bro. As long as you're there more than her boyfriend. I mean, Chris is never there, bro, so we won. Is Chloe... Yeah, she gave her some space. Okay, let's go talk to Chris again, then. What's here? Yeah, Chris. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, so what do you want to show me? Okay, follow me. Word. What? I don't usually show this to outsiders, but I have a good feeling about you. Alright. Holy shit. What the f Dude, my guy looks so fucking weird there. Naked man. This is amazing. Oh, I think this one's Amir's brother, bro. This is amazing. These are all the fight... Uh, sorry, these are all the fight kings of the wolves. There's one for every year we have won. Having you guys won seven times, though, I only count six portraits. Yeah, well, that's because of this guy. Uh, this is Wolf Legends, right? This is a Wolf Legends right here, Ben Varga. Amir's brother, dude. Oh, so this is him. Damn, he won twice. Oh, two years in a row. The only wolf to ever win twice. You should have seen him. He was so determined. Sometimes he'd be... He'd work out for eight hours in a single day? Bro, what is he fucking doing, bro? Wouldn't he be sore as shit, Dom? Is that possible? I mean, if you're doing, like, a regular fucking weightlift and cardio, that could be, like, two hours, two and a half. Dude, what? Uh, eight hours a day? Every day is insane, bro. And plus, doesn't really, he even go to school? If you're just doing, it's like a regular job. It's boxing. Dude, that's insane, though. Oh, my God. He must have been a fucking tank, bro. Yeah, he was something different. Who's the guy next to him? Oh, that guy? That's Chuck, a.k.a. the fighting cock. The fighting cock. <laughs> like, uh, haha, no, not like that. He's like a chicken cock, just sounded better. He was scrawny as fuck, but that kid could fight like hell. Haha, <laughs> damn. And then next to him is Drew. He was known for his kicks. I don't remember what that guy used to do. I think it was gymnastics or something. I don't know him personally, but we still teach his kicking techniques to this day. I don't know, just gym. I didn't know gymnastics would make you good at fighting. Haha, <laughs> me neither, but here at the Wolves, we try not to judge people based on stereotypes. He actually got turned away by the apes that year. They told him he didn't fit the style, but the Wolves saw his potential and welcomed him with open arms. He turned out to be one of the best fighters we ever had. Yo, that's clutch though, bro. Yeah, sounds amazing. What about the guys on the other side? Oh, that's David Park. He was actually a foreign exchange student from Korea quite a while ago. He was a black belt in Taekwondo. It took him a little while to adjust to a different style of combat, but his fighting was like an art. He was swift and light on his feet. So, wait, are they doing boxing? I think it's just street fighting, bro. Because the only fights me and you have done are street fighting, right? So, is this legal? Or, like, does, like, the school actually acknowledge this, like, this shit? I, I, think it's, I think it's underground. Because <laughs> what school would embrace this? Unless it's like a boxing, like, you know, legit. But none of, no schools really have boxing teams from what I've seen, right? Do they have that at... Uh, what school do you go to? El Paso, right? Fuck, no, they ain't got that. Yeah, they ain't got that. Yeah, I don't they know. They got the Edgar fucking comp. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that's the same, is it? No, Edgar comp is like... the gay ass because... That's uh, a roast. I fucking hate Eggers. Anyone out there, I'll beat the fuck out you. These guys are legends. There were hundreds of wolves over the years. Only six ever won the summer showdown. It's a huge deal, so you hear a lot about them. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What about him? That's the wall. The wall? He was a big guy. He wasn't particularly skilled at fighting from what I've heard. He was hella slow. Then how the hell did he become Fight King? Because that guy could take hits like it was nothing, hence the wall. He'd just let the other guy hit him over and over and until they got tired, and when the other guy was completely exhausted, the wall would just lay one good hit on him and he'd be down. 
That's crazy. That guy must have had some mad genetics. Yeah, he was just completely unbreakable. Okay, what about the last guy? He can't possibly be a fight king, right? I told you, we don't discriminate based on prejudices. That's Earl Levington. He was a brain, probably the smartest wolf we ever had. He would plan out his moves methodically. He would analyze the way his opponents fought and prepare every possible move. Sherlock fucking I mean, he barely got hit. He dodged almost every punch thrown at him based on his opponent's micro-expressions. Now, that's actually insane. So all these wolves were presidents, too? Yep, each and every one of them was at one point in their lives. Yeah. Should I like uh, low-key disrespect? Here. Yeah, I was about to like low-key disrespect. <laughs> That's really impressive. Winning the entire tournament must be surreal. Of course, good thing we're taking the crown back this year. I can feel it. So that empty frame is for huh? You gotta manifest your beliefs. Only way to make them come true. I bet the frame preemptively because I know that this shit will be ours this year. Well, it's good you're prepared. Yeah. So pledging starts tomorrow at 6 p.m. right here at the Wolf's house. I got to get back downstairs. I hope I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bro. Yeah, all right, thanks. Um, I should go back down, too. I wonder if Ramirez here. Maybe this would be a good time to patch things up between us. Aubrey. Yeah, well, that's a lot standing like that. Dude, I'm, she is a slut, bro. We piped her already. Have you seen Amir? Who's Amir again? I've seen him. He left with his hot blonde like 10 minutes ago. All right, thanks. Damn it, Chad. Yeah, what's up, Riley? Oh. I'm gonna head out. I just wanna see if you're gonna live up to your promise and walk me home like you said. Uh, can you just not for once? You do this every single fucking time. I just don't get it. Damn! Yeah, no, come on, don't dude. do that. I swear she finds new reasons to get upset every day. So, are you walking me home? Uh, uh, yeah, walk her home. Uh, no, wait. Wait, wait. Oh! Yo, wait, 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 wait. I think you should leave off on this. Yeah, you know what? All right, all right. Everybody make a choice. Make a choice. If you're watching this fucking Dude, goddamn video, we're going for Nora. Nora bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm down for Nora, too. So that's two for Nora right now, okay? Uh, Or walk Riley home, which... Riley? Nora? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, him, man. Like, we don't even know if we can fuck Riley. Like a beat up Wendy, bro. <laughs> anyway... This is Trapstar Flocko signing off, 3K Fang. You got anything Except to say, bro? Fidelius, Dos Fidania. If you don't pick Nora, you're gay. That, that, yeah, that's for real, dude. You might be gay if you don't pick Nora. Anyway, later, bitches. Deuces.